Hi, today I'm going to show you a very simple method to remove the little crystal oscillator from uh, the um, analog device's Pluto SDR. There are of course various methods that you can apply. Uh, a lot of people who own a hot air gun just remove it by using hot air, which is uh, possible. I've done this before. I've seen people using uh, two soldering irons, uh, one from one side and one from the other side, just to um, heat it from two sides. But um, I don't find it very convenient to fiddle around with two soldering irons and also not everyone owns two soldering irons. So uh, today I'm going to show you a method where I just use a standard uh, soldering iron, like this uh, good old Weller. Magnastat, it's not even a temperature regulatable solder station. Um, the important thing is that you are using a wide tip. So you should use a wide tip, which is uh, covering more or less the, the space of the uh, TCXO. It should be roughly as wide as the TCXO body, or the original crystal oscillator body. And the next most important point is that you should use um, the hottest possible solar temperature. Now here it's a mechanically regulated uh, magnostat uh, type of soldering iron. So this means you need to have the right solder tip at the right temperature. This is a number nine soldering tip, which for the Weller magnostat type of soldering irons corresponds to a tip temperature of 470 degrees centigrade. So it should be at least 450 or a little bit hotter if you can get it there, because that ensures um, that um, you can remove the crystal oscillator very easily, just with a wide soldering tip, nothing more. I'm going to show you now how this works, so let's heat up the uh, iron. Okay, now um, as um, soon as the iron is hot, we put a little bit of solder to the bottom side. Just a little blob, shouldn't be too big. And now we apply it in the center of the TCXO. So we apply it in the case of the crystal oscillator. And the heat will conduct through the crystal oscillator. And uh, at a certain point in time, it will melt and you can remove the crystal oscillator. After cleaning the contact with some solder wick, everything is uh, ready and looks perfect, as you can see here. Ready for the next step for TCXO modification. Thank you for watching, 73s.